This is non-calculator question number 19 from the March 2019 SAT. If you have not already tried this problem, pause my video for a minute. Try to solve this, the equation, and then come back and see what my solution looks like. In this case, they're asking if t is greater than 0 and 3t squared minus 5 times 3t minus 14 equals 0. What is the value of t? One option is to multiply this out and then solve. An easier option is let's substitute x equal 3t. So this is x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 0. That factors easily, far better than something that starts with a 9t squared would, as x and x plus and minus 2 times 7 is 14, and 2 minus 7 is negative 5, so it would be plus 2 and minus 7. And checking the FOIL, that does work. If this product is 0, then either the first factor is 0, x plus 2 equals 0, equals 0. So if x equals negative 2, or the second factor is 0, x minus 7 equals 0, add 7 to both sides, always do the same thing to both sides of an equation, x equals positive 7. But I'm not looking for x, I'm looking for the value of t. If x equals 7, then 7 equals 3t. Getting t by itself, I'll divide both sides by 3, and t equals 7 over 3, and that would be the answer. Alternatively, those of you in calculus may have substituted in u for 3t, but it's the same process. If that looked hard, we can always square 3t, which is 3 squared times t squared is 9t squared. Negative 5 times 3 is minus 15t minus 14 equals 0. And now we have to factor this. Two numbers whose product is negative 14 would be 2 and 7, and I'm going to hope it starts with 3t and 3t. Since I already did the other method, I know that that is how it starts. And there's a plus and a minus, and the minus is the more negative number, so the 2 is the plus. Again, our product equals 0, so either 3t plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from both sides, 3t equals negative 2, divide by 3, and I get t equals negative 2 thirds, but they said t is greater than 0, so that answer is no good. Or, if a product equals 0 and the first factor is not 0, the second factor equals 0. 3t minus 7 equals 0. Add 7 to both sides. Always do the same thing to both sides of an equation. 3t equals 7. Divide by 3. Since t is multiplied by 3, I divide by 3 to get t equals 7 thirds, which is the answer I found before. College Board often asks you to solve a quadratic equation, often with a twist, and I have a collection of YouTube videos on that topic. I'll post a link in the comments. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.